Today's January 3rd, 2017. I can take the seven and put my little European slash through them now, John. You ever I do like that. that. You ever do that with your sevens? Uh, I do. Almost all the time I do. I know. I learned it when I was a kid. So now I'm like happy that it's 2017. So we both probably did that, Andrew, because uh, that was probably around the same time we would have almost had to do uh, the metric system. Remember, they wanted to put us on that. Oh, yeah. Another Until idea. we rebelled. <laughs> hey, you want to see? hear something funny? Sure. Okay. Mariah Carey's meltdown on New Year's, right? I mm-hmm. took a copy of that video that somebody put out, and I said, well, let me just stick it up on my YouTube channel. This is kind of gold. Now, I don't get paid on hits or any of that stuff. I should. But um, I just said, let's see how many hits it gets. Guess how many it got? How many? Guess. Uh, a thousand. Keep going. You're kidding me. Higher? 25,000 hits, and it's still going. Other people had millions of hits. I don't know if they're getting paid on theirs, but it was just some crappy ABC. I, I lifted it from somebody that put it out, and I cut it, and I put it on. No thrills, anything. 25,000 hits. How crazy is that? I'm telling you, YouTube is for people that are just, they. Um, I don't even know what to say. Hopefully 2017 that will change. I don't think it will though. The dumber your shit well, you is, know, it, the, it's the better. That they've got the this, you know, between fake news and YouTube with fake followers. I mean, I, I don't know who out there thinks that somebody that you've never ever heard of has really five million real followers because they don't. <laughs> they don't. It, there, it's a it's a niche that I'm I'm exploring. I, I I fell down that rabbit hole over the week, and speaking of rabbit holes, how's your uh, how's everything up there in New York? What are you doing? Everything's good. I'm uh, marveling at uh, boy the big flip in crude oil today. Yeah, you know because we were up two and a half percent, flipped to down two and a half. Um, boy, the, there's, check this one out, Andrew. There's a, a 3X, as if you couldn't get into enough trouble with a regular natural gas contract. There's a triple X long net gas ETN, exchange traded note. What's the, what's the symbol? Um, UGAZ, U-G-A-Z. Oh, they put a Z on it. Yeah, That's kind of gangster. You gaz. Yeah, it makes it sort of gangsta. Um, but you gaz is down 33% today. Holy I've got sh- no dog in the hunt. I don't have any of it, but I'm just thinking, wow. wow. That is, that's now, was a that, huge... now, what was that up? Let's see what the chart on this thing looks like for today. Oh, it was, you know, um, November, it was, uh, you know, 20 or 21 in uh, beginning of November. And it shot all the way up to, you know, 50. So that's a nice more than double. And now it's making the pullback and it's created a huge gap. Uh, this is the U gas, not the actual natural gas, which is down, you know, about 12%. Um, and this is the triple X. <laughs> Man, it's a widow maker. Oh, yeah. U gas. But you know what worked for you? I'm happy for you again, Andrew. GLD, what? baby. Yeah, I know. I'm working with the Nugget. Still have it. Um, you got guts. Well, I got, st- I got stock. I, didn't... I don't own options. And options would be singing a different jump story. jump on this mobile eye. NBLY. I saw it last week. I saw that they were making a big stink at CES, and I didn't buy it at 35. I missed it. And then it was 37, and I said, ah, screw it. I'm not chasing it. Today, 41. I know. We talked about this on Friday. Uh, it's one of those where you coulda, shoulda, woulda. Yeah, I'm just I'm just waiting. I'm keeping my powder dry, as they say, you know, for the Nvidia new year. The still sinking, though. I'm probably going to liquidate the balance of my stuff down pretty close to here because we're back down to 101. I'm not going to go long, so nobody send me any of the hate mail saying, oh, God, I bought it because you said buy it, Doc, at 101. No, I said I'm covering shorts at 101. Got it. Big difference. Yes. All right, everybody's a Disney fan today. 
Yeah. Really? Funny how that works, right? You, you do have a lot of reasons to be. I mean, again, here, how about these franchises, Andrew? Um, cars, this is going to be Cars 3. Toys, this is going to be Toy Story 4. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, this is going to be, I don't know, fifth movie, I think, in their chain. Um, then you've got uh, uh, another Star Wars movie coming out in, I think, June. Another one? They're still Another working on Rogue one. one. And I think they to might even put Carrie friend. According to Drudge, they might even put the Carrie Fisher. They're going to re- resurrect her from the dead. Yeah. Old clips. Now, and now there's a big push for these guys to make sure they get paid. Because how would you like to be, which only makes sense, of course, how would you like to be a an actor, uh, male or female, Andrew, and then find out that um, maybe your dad was in the same business or your mom, and they're using their their uh, um, uh, you know intellect not intellectual property. I'm sorry, their uh, property, which is their face. You know, Marilyn Monroe. She still gets paid when they use her in commercials. Until just recently, they weren't sure what the legal ramifications were of using a dead actor in a movie. I guess that's new law. You're gonna yeah. have, that has to be litigated because aren't things copyrighted 50 years? Is does that would that fall in the play? I don't know. I'm not a lawyer, but after 50 years, I, they're not copyrighted. So after 50 years after you die, I mean, I don't know. Mm-hmm. How's that work? I mean, you would think you still get to hold on to your your image, but. That um, sounds like a question for uh, Elvis yep. or, or James Dean. And, or And we still have to get Satan back on the program, Andrew. Oh, yes. Satan's been busy. Speaking of Satan, well, I mean, did you see one of his followers here, yeah. from Turkey? Yeah. That was a big deal. 35 people dead and I think 50-some-odd shot. You know, I was thinking about that. Um Oh, somebody tweeted out a video. He, he had done like a selfie in Turkey, like a like a one minute movie of him just spinning around, walking around Turkey. The guy looked like Satan. The guy looked like he had no soul, no eyes. But ask, tell me something. When you saw it, they said the first guy they shot in that club was Santa Claus, and he was wearing a white outfit, right? Mm-hmm. And then the next thing, they're like, they're looking for somebody else, and he was wearing a black outfit and came in the front door. So there was two guys, one wearing black and one wearing white. Or is there only one guy, or is this more weird fake news? I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. I don't know. Um, am I the I'm only person seeing that? Though. Comment below. Comment yeah, put in the you, comments. Yeah, if, you're, if you saw the same thing, I didn't even look at it. I just, I can't keep going down these rabbit holes. You know, it's just, it's too much. So what else? What else we got going on? Well, let's see. Uh, uh, I think they'll continue to scramble for some of the things that really were the big underperformers, Andrew. I mean, uh, you know, things like uh, Salesforce. Boy, did I get a nice pop out of that one today. Came out of nowhere, but I'll take it. CRM, Salesforce.com. Um we had some unusual activity a week ago, and the stock had fallen to like 67 or something, I want to say. And now here it is, broke through 70 today. Got to like that. Um, let me see the five-day. Yeah, we were definitely in the 67s for most of the day on uh, Friday, Andrew. And then, boom, nice little pop today. Look at that. All Look right. at that gap, baby. Let me see if I can segue from CRM to CRMs for like employees, right? Like you're supposed to work. customer relationship management. Okay, with other employees that you work with. Guess what? You'll be able to work with Megan Kelly now. Oh yeah, that's right. She's Megan going over to your Coming umbrella. Over to NBC, yeah. She's going to have a daytime show. She's going to have a Sunday evening show, maybe to compete with your favorite sixty minutes, Andrew. NBC what? might actually pull their heads and, you know, say, why are we just going to cede this to them? You know, the evening magazine. She's, I mean, she's a draw for that. And then she'll be a political reporter. She's really got three jobs. Maybe that's how they'll justify however big this massive contract's likely to be. So she might make an appearance. 
of run CNBC, you'll get to see her. She'll be coming promoting her new stuff in like say six months from now. Well, that's and what I'm you, talking about. You'll be like, hey, and then you'll have to ask her what kind of perfume we're wearing. My friend Andrew in Chicago wants to know. <laughs> and you could ask. You could say it's not me. Somebody else. You know. I'm always curious. Mm-hmm. My brother met Princess Diana once. She said she smelled great, and then he found out what kind of perfume she wore and bought it for his wife. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of one of those weird, creepy things. That is a little creepy, but it's also kind of nice. Yeah, so now you can find out. <clears throat> what does Megan Kelly smell like? All right. So you're going to be up in uh, New York all week? I'm here all week, and then uh, hopefully we'll get a number of podcasts up this week. Kind of get the year kicked off on the right foot, Andrew. That's right. We're getting a bunch of views. Tell your friends. All right. Remember, you can sign up on iTunes or through YouTube. Either one. All right. Later. Get her done. <laughs>